Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Rich Reviews. You join us on a drive out to Podium Place with the Drivers Union. Viewers of our channel will know that we did a recce out to Podium Place for the Drivers Union and that was for this actual event that we're running on now. Quite a few cars joining us on this trip out um, that we met up just outside Marlborough in Swindon. We've got Leading us out, we've got the usual yellow 355, behind the 355 we've got a 430, which is the concourse winning 430. Then obviously we've got us, 458 Spider. we've got a 458 Italia behind us. So quite a good selection of cars on the drive out. again to be quite honest. Here we go again. coming there's about 13 cars that are turning up today and um, so we've only got the four or five of us at the moment that are here we've parked around the back for the side area which is quite exclusive parking so it's pretty cool we can park here because it obviously keeps our cars away from other cars uh, keeps them separated nicely we're gonna go into podium now take a look around see if there's any difference with the cars configuration and behind us we've got a, an MC20 just turning up MC20 turns up just as we're talking and we've got Chris who's in our and the SOTs just parking up as well and got the other four four five days Yeah, so this is podium detailing our marketing area upstairs. 
Uh, so everything from you know, pen correction, ceramic coat and PPF, everything we can do in here. Uh, we're also put, uh, about to launch our own detailing products. So there's going to be a line of podium detailing products yep. all the way through. Uh, the other thing we're about to start doing is ice blasting. I don't know if anyone's Ooh, seen yeah. that, oh, yeah. but it's uh, oh, yeah. quite an unusual process where essentially you fire ice crystals at grease and dirt and yeah. it, it turns it into ice. dust. Yeah. yeah, no, it just freezes it and it just drops on the floor essentially. So great for engine bays, wheel arches, suspension parts, uh, undercarriages, all that kind of stuff. We're one of the first ones doing it over here. The good thing about it is it's uh, non-abrasive and there's no residue that's left over afterwards. So for hard to get to places, if you don't want to take an engine bay apart, but you want it cleaned as best as you can, this is, this is the best way to do it. Bringing back TWR, some of you will know it, some of you won't, but Tom Walkinshaw Racing. Uh, mainly famous for the success in Le Mans in 88 and 90 uh, with Jaguar, the Silk Cut Jags. Uh, they also did the XJS in um, one European touring car in 84 and the Bathurst 1000 in 85. So this is our uh, one of our just test mules that we're doing structural work on at the moment. You're welcome to have a look around. Yeah. So we've got fuel tank working on there. You can see structural support. So it's basically a tubular chassis within the original yeah. chassis. Um, this won't actually be in this form when we do this for real because this will be acid dipped back to bare metal before we start welding anything. Okay. Right now, this is we're testing with 3D scanning. So we've yeah. got this in CAD so we can make body panels. Um, We'll be doing carbon fiber doors, carbon fiber front wings, bonnet. Mm -hmm. There'll be options for the boots and the, and the roof. Uh, the whole thing will be widened a bit. Uh, all the front and rear subframe completely redesigned. I've, I've got my V12 XJS at home. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Well, we can bring it in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is what it will become <laughs> briefly <laughs> before it gets put back together. Um, we're, we've redesigned the tunnel for a uh, manual six-speed gearbox, but also we'll be, we're looking at a ZF uh, eight-speed option as well, but initially it's going to be the six-speed manual. Uh, side exit exhaust, so muffler boxes come in through here and we'll exit out the side here. So we're, we're having a production run of about 250, well, we are having 250 units. Uh, it's going to be a mixture between touring version and a track pack version. Yep. Um, we'll produce somewhere between 25 and 50 cars a year uh, out of this location. Mm -hmm. So that's the idea, is to have a so production more, car essentially. You need more donors then, do you? Or are you There's plenty of donors. Loads <laughs> 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 of donors. Yeah, they, they made... Well, as I say, you basically we've burned a whole place. Yeah, but they made over 100,000 of these uh, XJSs. This is a uh, reception area for our members club stroke Barbers, stroke simulator room. Uh, you'll see when you get upstairs, it's kind of an event space, but segregated into different sections uh, for, for entertainment, basically. But it also overlooks the TWR workshop. So you'll be able to book this online. Um, so you can book for an hour, half an hour, whatever. You come up, play, uh, go on the sim, you can have lunch, have coffee, whatever. Uh, so there'll be three of these. You can race against each other, which is quite cool. Um, so if you book the whole area, you can do a kind of group Grand Prix style booking. So the seats can adjust into an F1 or a touring car position. The seat belts tighten up as you hit the brake. So it, it kind of simulates you being thrown forward very immersive experience basically wind blows in your face uh yeah it's a, it's taking a simulator like we have in the front just up to a yeah up to 11.
done from a motorsport perspective and at the time the 3.5 litre V6 was the better choice for this car. Um, although it wasn't a popular choice in the day because everyone wanted the V12. Um, but you know, that's... Has anybody shoved the V12 in it? They have, yeah, it has been done. Uh, I haven't seen it myself, but I know it exists. I've seen a picture of it. Um, we've, we've thought about it, um, but also we, we, we're looking at developing the XJ220 engine itself, so we're, we're going to play around with it a little bit. Just leaving podium place now. We're going to go and get some food. Great turnout. Had a really good chat with John Kane, the one of the main owners or managers of Podium Place. So watch this space, guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to do some collaborations with um, with Podium Place in the future. Thanks a lot for John at Podium Place for looking after us. Very kind of you, John. We had a good look round. It was a great tour of the place. Some very innovative processes that they've, that they've got going on at the moment. More to come, hopefully, in future videos. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. It's free to do so. It doesn't cost anything, and you can unsubscribe any time you want in the future. Thanks, guys, and... As usual, we'll catch you in the next video.